Grade fours, quick little easy section on geography at the moment. Geography, reading a map. Now, this is a practical section. It is not something you can learn for. It's not something you can study. In your books, you've got, in your geography books, you've got a, an example of a map, and your teacher's asked you to give directions and to get from one place to the other, or she's asked you, what do you find, what building is on this particular street, or whatever. You can't learn that map off by heart because you're not going to get that one in the exams. It's the skill of being able to read from a map that your teacher is going to test you on. So I've gotten a new map, I found it on the internet, and the kinds of things that she could ask are being able to give directions. So if you, she could say, help Sally get from Vernon Street, that's the little girl top left, help Sally get from Vernon Street to the fire department. And you'll have to go and find the fire department on your map, and you'd have to describe how to get there. Now there's a couple of ways that you could get there, but the things that your teacher will be looking for are the way that you des things that you describe. So mentioning road names, mentioning landmarks, so saying that she would pass the pet shop and the bank, etc., etc. If you look on Pine Street, she would have to go over a bridge on Pine Street. Mentioning that would also get you marks. Um, the other things that you could ask you in this section are: What do you notice? What building is on? Um, Grove, the corner of Grove and Hill Street, and you would have to say, well, it's a supermarket, it says a food, it says food there. Um, she could say, what do you notice um, next to the school? What happens to the river there? And if you look carefully, it actually looks like it's a bit of a waterfall. So you would have to say, oh, there's a waterfall next to the school. Um, things like that. It's nothing you can study for, and the one that you'll get in your exam won't be anything you've seen before. But it's having to remember that you need to describe things carefully, you need to mention road names, you need to mention landmarks, those are the buildings and the things that you can see on the map. You might have to give the compass direction points. If you looked at my map, if you look at my map, you can see top right hand corner, north, south, east and west. You might have to mention that. So if I said, if I'm standing at the fire department, um, in which direction is the school? And the school is to the west of the fire department. You might have to describe certain things and say what you find on a corner. Okay, So it's just being able to work with a map and answer all sorts of different questions. So go have a look. Apparently in your textbook you have some more examples. Go have a look in your textbook. You can use the one on my video now. Just pause the screen and take a screenshot of it and get mom to ask you different questions. How to get from here to there. Um, what do you notice on that corner? And try and see if you can describe it carefully so that if somebody could follow your directions to get there. Good luck.